Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'll show you how to make another Mexican recipe. This one has been highly requested and it goes perfect with the recipe that you saw in my last video. So I hope you like it. I'll show you how to make spicy refried beans. They are so easy and delicious so hopefully you'll give them a try. Remember you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. Place the beans in a blender, then season them with a little bit of salt. The beans are fully cooked. I cook them in salted water with one large onion and four garlic cloves and I cook them on high heat for about two hours or until they were completely cooked and tender. So like I said, the beans are fully cooked. Now place them in a blender and season them with salt. Remember the salt is always to taste, so feel free to add as much as you want. And if you think it's necessary, feel free to add some liquid, just enough to be able to blend the beans. Blend them for about 3 minutes or until they have the texture and the consistency that you like. I want them to be like a puree, so I'm going to blend them on high for about 3 minutes, but the consistency is up to you, you can blend them for a shorter time. So once the beans are blended, now we're going to refry them. In a large skillet, we're going to preheat some lard. Remember, lard is just pork fat. And we Mexicans love to cook our beans in pork fat, that's the secret to make really great refried beans. So if you want your beans to have that really authentic Mexican flavor, you have to refry them in lard, in pork fat. I'm going to be using about half a cup or two thirds of a cup of lard, but you can use more or less, it's up to you. The quantity of lard is up to you, remember that. So once the fat is hot, now we're going to add in the chorizo and we're going to cook the chorizo for about 4 to 5 minutes on medium heat. You want the chorizo to be fully cooked and you also want it to get some color. So after 5 minutes or so, once the chorizo is cooked, if you think there is too much fat in the skillet, you can remove some of it and just leave enough fat to cook all the beans. So after the chorizo is cooked, now we're going to add in the beans. Now give it a stir until the beans are well mixed with the fat and as the beans cook they will also absorb all the fat and all the flavors. So we're just going to stir well then reduce the heat to the lowest and then we're going to continue to cook these beans on low heat until they come to a boil. Remember to stir them frequently to avoid them from sticking to the pan. Once the beans start to boil, now we're going to add in the pickled jalapenos and you can add as many of the jalapenos as you like and we will also add in some of the liquid from the pickled jalapenos and again you can add as much of the liquid as you like and we will also add about half a cup of the asadero cheese. And then after that just give everything a stir until everything is well incorporated and we're going to continue to boil these on low heat for another 5 more minutes. Remember to stir them frequently to prevent them from sticking to the pan. And after 5 minutes of continuous boiling, now they are ready, so turn off the heat and then garnish the beans with more asadero cheese. And if you have any leftover pickled jalapenos, you can also garnish with those. And that's it, they are ready to serve. These go great with the cochinita pibil that you saw in my last video. And they also go great with anything else, so I hope you give them a try. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!